welcome to SEMA 2009 and Las Vegas, USA. This week we've just launched the Mavizen TTX02. My name is Azur Hussain, I'm the founder of Mavizen and the founder of the TTX UP races. The TTX UP took part this year on June 12th on the Isle of Man, the world's first sanctioned zero carbon Grand Prix. We had races from around the world, uh, we had teams from around the world come along and take part in what is probably one of the most toughest road races in the world. The average speeds on our road races were around 80, 80 to 87 miles per hour. Peak speeds were between 102 and 106 miles per hour. The bike that won the TTX GP has now been productized and built into the Mavizen TTX 02, which is here. The objective of this bike is to get more people to the grid. We had a huge amount of interest from people who wanted to go racing, but they had nowhere to go to go and get a bike from. So, how do we fix that? Working with our partners at KTM, we built a brand new zero carbon electric super sport bike, which is here, a TTX 02. This is available for customer delivery mid-March and will retail in its standard pack for around $40,000. We've also announced this week a series of races. In addition to the UK four-round championship, we now have a US four-round championship which kicks off on May 14th at the Infineon Raceway Sonoma, California. So let's take you through the motorbike and, uh, and see and tell you what, what it's about. First thing is we shouldn't call it a motorbike anymore, I think we should call it the electro bike. As a note to self. <laughs> We've had a number of really brand new innovations, very much focused on motorsports. Firstly, talking to you about the chassis. The RC8 is probably one of the best chassis in the world for our application. It has a wonderful open frame structure. It allows us to package a huge amount of batteries very efficiently. And it also allows us to bring a brand new innovation to motorsports, which is a completely hot swappable drivetrain in under five minutes. The vision is, well, the plan is that the, when the bike pulls into a pit stop, the entire bike will be put up 90 degrees vertically onto its back wheel. At that point, the entire center section here will be removed and pulled out like so. The center section here drops out downwards. It's completely sealed from the top. The center section starts from here, as you can see, the main charging port, the controllers, the battery, and the motors. The entire drivetrain is a single unified unit. Once you drop that out, you plug in a brand new one, and you basically have a brand new bike uh, ready for racing. We expect that, like I said, to be around a five minute exchange program for this version of the bike. The other very big innovation we've done with this system is we've introduced an open source architecture, which basically means the entire software here is running an x86 Linux based system. This is completely user configurable at every level. Um, in addition, the bike ships, as you can see from the back here, with a Wi Fi web server. As you can see here, it's now looking for a hotspot. This bike allows mechanics or factories or anybody else to log on as if it's a website and you can configure the entire bike wirelessly online. It also allows us to offer a service where teams that want to run or races that want to run around the world, we can support them technically from our factory. So when they're racing, when we will be online watching them and if there's any problems, we will try and fix. When they come into the pit lane, we'll give them advice. We will have complete remote access to their bike and we'll support them, configure and adjust as we need to. It also allows some innovative new social applications, for example, best lap, time, best lap times uh, split by course can be uploaded onto our central system and downloaded onto the bike so people can race against their friends virtually at any track around the world. Over time, we hope to create a database of times and performances from famous personalities, from lots of people, and, and create a grid. Uh, so when you're racing, you're racing against some of the best people in the world, even if they're not there physically. This particular bike ships with two Agni motors, um, and we have a number of different battery pack solutions. The motors themselves are brushed motors, DC direct drive, 
we have no we have no gearbox, so the whole system runs directly in, into the rear uh, drivetrain. The one of the benefits of having this particular architecture is we want to standardize on the mechanical platform of the RCA, but we allows us to modify the batteries, the motors, and the controllers as the technology moves on. So it's very easy for the end user to be able to change the system and protect their core investment on the frame, but be able to keep up with the technology as it evolves forward. It also allows us to diagnose issues easier. If there's any serious problem, they can just ship the central pack back to us and we can fix it and then send it back to them without having to move the entire bike uh, as a single unit. The TCX-02 is, is the first bike we're hoping to launch as to support our racing. We have in our mind, or in our plans now, TTX-03, which is a motocross line, and we hope to introduce that during the 2010 season. Uh, we're very keen to expand our range into motocross, uh, and we see road racing and motocross as two incredible opportunities to really push forward electric uh, motorsports. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. We invite you to be part of it. It's a hell of an adventure and uh, there's absolutely no reason why you can't be part, you can't have a chance to make history. It's incredibly affordable uh, motorsport, it's a sustainable motorsport and it's coming to a circuit near you wherever you are in the world. Thanks very much.